Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while, but here we are. Today I'm excited to bring you my review of Magic Square's latest release, their MS-02EX Light of Peace. This is, of course, the painted version of their Optimus Prime. A little bit of controversy. People are saying that this should have been released in the first place. I agree with the diecast, but... As far as the painted version, if you look at Magic Square's history, this is pretty much their business model. So if you know, you know. If not, you might be mad about it. I can understand. Anyhow, so quick look around the box. We have this nice drawing of Optimus Prime done in their holographic writing, drawing, whatever you want to call it. Looks really nice. You got uh, Magic Square. MSO2 EX light of piece. Not much else. Pretty, pretty bland. It's got some writing on the back. It's got an outline of the alt mode. But that is about it. So let's get into it again. We do get the standard Magic Square instructions that we are used to. Um, same as before, except this time it's got the MSO2 EX on it. Nicely done. And you do get a new card. Here's the box art and the, the rainbowish colors. This is not reflective. It's just done in that style. So it looks nice. And same style of coloring on the back with his stats. As before, we do get the two different trailer hitches. One for MP10 and one for MP44. And looking at the originals, these are exactly the same. No difference in sheen or anything of that nature. He does come with his battle axe. As before, it does slip on his hand the same way, which we showed more than once. So I don't know if we'll show it again. We might. But one thing that is interesting, bringing out the original, it might be hard to see, but I feel like the new one is a little bit darker. As far as the X goes, it does fit over the hand, just as we've seen twice before. Looks a little weird with the hand inside, but it's effective. He does get his blaster, just like we saw twice before. This time it does have a sheen on it. I don't know if it's painted or if it's just different color plastic. Maybe they put some paint in the plastic. I don't know. Uh, for some reason, it does share the removable and I know with the math, with the legend scale, this worked with Megatron and Shockwave's light effects to give it a blast effect. It might work. I just haven't compared the size. And here it is with the original, uh, old on top, new on bottom. You can definitely see the, the difference in the sheen. I'll hold his rifle just like before, just fine using the standard masterpiece peg and hold method. New to the set this time is Sideswipe's jetpack. Fitted to Prime, obviously, but it's not painted in any way, but it does have some nice molded detail in it. Got some venting got that detail there. It just slides onto his back, but one thing that is nice is if you have the right size, you can do blast effects, and the rockets are on ball joints, so they are definitely posable which is awesome. As far as the backpack, it's fairly simple. The way it works is it just goes on with friction. A little snug, so just be careful with the paint. And it, it'll fit on there very nicely, as you can see. And then me, I like to bring in the Siege Jetfire Blast Fix. If they hold together and you can have that look going on I think that looks really good to be honest also new to this set is the second head which is fully painted 
with the blue all the way around. You've got the mobile ears. They do pivot, just be careful, because they're going to be fragile. I did look and the actual connection inside is metal for those, which is surprising. The crest is painted in silver. You've got gray for the face and eyes are done in blue. So we're going to start things off in alt mode just because we've looked at this twice already. I'm not actually going to do the transformation. If you want to see the transformation, I've done it both ways. Just look at my playlist here and check it out. But I got to say, I do really enjoy this version. You've got added metal wheels this time, which are really nice. They do pass the magnet test, but they look really good. Silver, painted blue, white, chrome for the gas tanks, metal uh, smokestacks. I, they do move up and down. I prefer the shorter and in look, but that's just me to each his own uh, fully painted red looks really really fantastic you got gray paint here in the wheel well which is nice coming to the front you've got red paint although it's not noticeable but there is a slight mismatch in color here not a huge huge issue it still looks great silver for the headlights a lot of people complain saying that they're square there were so many inconsistencies, circle, square, we saw both. A lot of people are complaining also because the silver stripe isn't there. The majority of the time it wasn't, but this is what they went with. A chrome bumper, orange, clear plastic over silver on the, the lights, chrome grill, silver, for the windshield, wi windshield wipers, orange this time on the, the lights on the top, and blue transparent windshield. Looks really good. The, the color difference is really minor, but the sheen difference is really what makes it different and stand out. It looks fantastic. Here's the view from the back. Again, red and yellow taillights as before. Nothing new to see there. And... You can, should you want to, utilize this to bring in the trailer if you want to attach it. This does add quite a bit of stability to the legs, which is interesting. So if you want the fifth wheel look, you can do that. There's a view from the top view from the bottom you can definitely see that that sheen coming through and we'll take a look at both this and the original version together in a minute now he does still have the floppy floppy wind windshield or sorry mirrors doors are a lot more better tolerance this time and they do still open which is really nice for those interested here he is with the mp10 trailer sadly i don't have mp44 so i can't do that comparison As you can see, there's not much difference in the color, but what you do get is that very nice sheen from the paint. Just adds a little bit more vibrance and a much better feel overall. But they both look pretty fantastic, in my opinion. And just for another size comparison, here he is with MP10. And here we have Optimus in his robot mode. And I gotta say, he feels a lot better with the paint. But let's get in close. Uh, now the head is painted. Be careful with the ears, they do still pivot, but they are stiffer now, tend to stick a little bit. But blue all the way around, gray on the crest, gray for the, pace, the face and nicely painted blue eyes they look great very clean shoulders you got some well some have mentioned about wear 
on the gears a little bit. It's not bad, but I mainly use this joint here anyway. So that works for me. I'm only going to use this for transformation, but it, it is ratcheted. So it gets you all the way up. It is a plastic ratchet, soft. And I don't really intend to transform this guy very often. Um, so not a huge deal for me, but it may be for some. Uh, shoulders do still have the 360. Showed that they come up. Uh, you do still have the butterfly, the double butterfly, that allows you to bring it, the arms all the way across. Although they are still stiff, you do have... You do still have both the pivot above and below the elbow. Once again, you do have the the double jointed elbow here. And let me show you something. A lot of people complained about hollowness. That looks pretty good. Not very hollow, right? It's only when you engage that second elbow. And bring the elbow all the way up. So that's an issue. So... Doesn't bother me. It may still bother some. One gripe I do have, you can see the gap in the chest here. That has something to do with the tightness of the joints here. So I'm gonna work with it, see if I can get that to close up a little bit. But still, the red paint looks fantastic. And we open it up to reveal the matrix chamber. Once again, done in silver with black plastic, red and yellow and green paint. And let's get the matrix chamber open to reveal his matrix, which looks beautiful. It does come out, but I'm not going to do it. It's got more of an orange colored paint. We'll compare it here in a moment with silver on the handles, silver paint details on the side. It looks phenomenal. Close that back up. Once again, you've got yellow for the, the lights coming through. He does still have the waist rotation and the fantastic app crunch. Coming down to the legs, everything is still the same. Um, paint. The orange is done a lot better on the EX than it is on the original version. And I'll show you why here in a minute, but uh, soft ratchet out to the side. The added weight does make it a little harder for it to hold, but I'm gonna attempt to tighten this screw right here to see if we can maybe fix that a little bit. But that die cast piece and the weight of the metal wheels in the leg do add quite a bit just so you're aware uh, rotate the leg out before you engage the hip and make sure the hip skirts up but you do still have the wonderful joints here now if you do it right you can get a very decent kick, which is fantastic. It's been that way, it was that way in the original as well, but I just I just love the articulation on this. Uh, thigh swivel around the hip, double jointed knee on two different ratchets, giving you the full run once again. And the feet are interesting. It's got a slider, so it can slide side to side, as well as the toe can go down and the heel can go down. And you have a rather phenomenal rocker. So once again, in my opinion, probably the best articulated prime on the market. Some may argue, MP44, I can't compare because I don't have them. 
Um, but just be aware the paint on all the joints do make them tight. Once you move them a little bit, they will loosen up. But let's bring in the original. And right away, you can see the sheen difference. Definitely more matte with the plastic. Different colors on the head. The eyes are still painted the same color, but just, it feels so much better than this. One thing I do want to show you is with this, you do have the problem manipulating the legs. It makes it come apart. And it just doesn't feel very good. With the new legs, it doesn't happen. It doesn't come apart anymore, which is phenomenal. Fantastic. And one thing I just noticed, I feel like the smokestacks are down lower. That's interesting. I wonder if that is the replacement stack and that's the old stack, but definitely a little bit of a color difference there as well. It's minor, but yeah, there's a different height there, which is pretty awesome. Maybe it's because I have them back. No, it's still a little difference, but Opening up the matrix chamber on him. See, he just had a silver matrix. And the EX version. Has the gold. Which looks amazing. There's a comparison from the back. Again, the EX version just looks a lot more vibrant with that sheen and feels a lot better. Otherwise, sculpting is exactly the same. I forgot to show that the hands are also painted. You do still have the same articulation with all the points in the fingers and the thumb. And it still has the outward motion. So, once again, very, very well done. So, final thoughts on the figure. In my opinion, I think he's fantastic. The, the detail, the paint, sculpting, and articulation have created what I feel is the best Masterpiece Optimus Prime on the market. I do prefer him over TE. Oh, one just because of the lack of articulation, especially in the legs. Now, the big question is, should you replace the MS-02 original if you have it? That's up to you. Personally, I enjoy it. I'm glad I have this. The original is now going to be my alt mode prime. Just because I broke my MS-01 painted version. So, that's a bummer. But I have this guy to replace him. I got mine from showzstore.com. Check him out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of future content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.